Netflix is at it yet again, this time with Velvet Buzzsaw, and I look, I gotta be honest, you had me at Buzzsaw. Critique is so limiting and emotionally draining. I'm hoping you find something to explain what's happening. Which one's better? One or two? Better or worse, no different. No different. I'm quite curious to know what you think. I think sober hasn't been good for him. Pierce was in the full bloom of alcoholism here. Exactly. Never is it a quit drinking. No originality. No courage. My opinion. I can't save you. I'm buying something. Who did these? They're mesmeric. A uh, guy upstairs, he died. And you just took them? He had my family or friends. I can make you rich. It's brilliant. The man has people ready to kill. Have you ever heard of an artist named Ventral Deals? No, not in our records, and we have everyone. The artist used blood to create the reddish blocks. You ever notice anything about this painting? You look at it long enough, it moves. As I research these, I'm starting to think there's a disgust for the world of money. We spent decades in a psychiatric hospital for the criminally insane. There is some sort of power. Spirit. It's connected to his art. <gasps> Something truly goddamn strange is going on. This is a slaughterhouse. Are you aware that Dee's asked that all his art be destroyed? Help! Get rid of it. I can't save you. People thought she was part of an exhibit. We're trending on Instagram. It's a major hit. Who cares? Alright, first item of note, apparently. If Netflix is going to make a movie, they're going to cast John Malkovich in it. He's all over the place these days. Bird Box, now this. Okay. Uh, side note. Second point. Netflix is throwing a truckload of money out there. I mean, that cast, just like Bird Box. Major names, major stars, major money. Um, wow. Okay. So now let's actually get on to this. Um, I do actually, you know, okay, the premise is not necessarily anything new. Um, so ultimately, it's always going to be how is the execution. The execution on this looks to be very interesting. Uh, kind of interested in the concept of how what's in the painting relates to what's happening to, you know, the person. Uh, you know, having the arms reach out and grab you, yawn, you know, it's been a million times before. But, you know, maybe in the painting, it's, you know, eight chimpanzees, there's all chimp arms or something like that. Painting's on fire, the guy's on fire, you know, it's a correlation by that. And then, of course, ultimately, what's the answer, the, the way out, the, the, the resolution to this all, uh, you know, especially with the painter already dead. I mean, they, they have set up a good and interesting premise. It's Netflix, so it has the opportunity to take chances. It has the opportunity. They allow their filmmakers that sort of freedom. They don't always take it. Uh, a lot of times they err on the side of safety and caution. <clears throat> Bird box. Um, but, you know, they're trying to appeal to a large audience with the big names. And so when I see the big names, I get a little concerned that, that they're going to play it safe. Nonetheless, uh, you know, Netflix, man, they just continue to, to, to give us something. And, and I'll applaud them for nothing else other than the fact that they are willing to, to produce and produce and produce and yeah sure not all of it hits but when it does you know we get some really good stuff you know gerald's game 1922 etc etc so 
definitely going to be checking this one out. A little disappointed, I saw no buzz saws in there at all. And you know, <laughs> I love the buzz saw. So, what did you guys think? Please let me know in the comment section below. Plus, if you get a chance, do be a solid. Hit that subscribe button and hit the like button.